if you're using Adobe Acrobat Pro, you have a lot of options in working with images. You can insert images, you can insert background icons, graphics, patterns, and so on. So I'll show you how to do it very quickly in Adobe Acrobat Pro. So once I have a file here and I want to add a um, logo, there are two different ways of getting into inserting images. One, which I prefer is on the right, you have this edit PDF option. If I click on it, at the top, I will have add image option. Now let me close it and show you the other way. The other way is basic. If you go to view tools, edit PDF and open, and it gets you to the same place, but these are the two different ways of getting there. Now, once I'm here, you can see that everything is selected because I'm in the edit mode. I can click on add image, and now I can find the image that I'm interested in inserting into my PDF. I want to insert this logo. Once I grab it, you can see that I'm holding the image and it's asking me, where do you want to position it? So when so I, once I click, that's where it's going to be positioned. So I click it here. Now you can see that it's very large. And so the way image will be inserted, how big it is depends on the size of the image that you're inserting. So if it has many pixels, big file size, that's going to be large but it's no problem. It's actually better to have this higher pixel image so it doesn't get pixelated. You can always resize it in Acrobat. So I select this image and now I can reposition it and I can select these corners. You see I have this white circles and this means you can modify the size of it. So I can drag it to make it smaller like so. And you can still see that it's selected, but once I close it, you won't see the border anymore. Let's add another image. So I'm going to add a border. You can add different designs to your PDFs and you can see it's very large right now. So I'm going to resize it first and then position it like so. Now let me add maybe an actual image. So I'm going to put this image and it's also asking where you want to place it. I'm going to place it here and now it's big and I can just move it by selecting it. I can also flip it so I can flip by going on the right to the options for objects and I can flip it to change how it looks and flip it back. Now let's say if I want to crop this image, now I don't want to maybe have this whole hand. If I just drag it this way, it's going to be distorted. You can see that the image, the entire image is still there, but the size is changing, so it's becoming skewed. So you don't want to go this way. You actually want to select it and click on the objects option on the right and select the crop image option. And once you do that, you see that the options from the circles, you have these lines. Now I can select it. And this is basically letting me cut some of the image. Now I can see that there's text right here and I can't see it because the image is blocking it. So I can select this image, go to the objects options right here and click the bottom right one. And it's the arrange objects option. If I click on the arrow, I can say, send this back to the back. And that's what it does. And there's some other objects there so I would have to eliminate it and finally let me add maybe like a sticker and put it somewhere over one of these sections and you can see where I will be able to putting it so you can test it out before I click anywhere I can always modify it and I'm going to change the size and put it over education here and obviously I can't see the text so what I have to do go to objects arrange send backwards and now I can have it right there. Now, after you're done, you can close and you can always go back and change anything. So let's say I want to remove this image that I had right here because it's just too much. I can still do so afterwards. After I close my documents, save my documents and come back to it, I just click the edit option one more time and I'm done. Thanks so much for watching.